Good morning. Uh, well, that was the first night sleeping in the cube. It wasn't too bad. Finally, we've come to our first walk for the day, the uh, Rokuri uh, Bushwalk, where there are caves and other various things to explore. So this time I've of course got my got my gear in my bag. We learned from yesterday <laughs> not to leave things behind. But I uh, should have some cool interesting stuff to photograph and, and explore on our trip. Someone that decided a little while ago that I was no good at water photography, especially slow shutter speed water photography, I've been taking quite a lot of it lately. I think it's just because I know it's something that I want to be better at, that I've just started putting more effort into. But I like the process of making it. It's interesting. Anyway, onwards. Uh, my arch nemesis stairs. More waterfalls. It's a gorgeous one just down here. Um, there's a step here I can get a little bit closer. So I'm going to try to hang the Joby from the side of the tree. That's just over here on this bit, so I'm not standing next to the ledge myself. And we're going to just try and see if we can get some slow shutter speed shots. So you go, hopefully those came out. Hopefully you enjoyed those bits. And now up here after a few more stairs, uh, is a cave. Okay, it might just be a little short cave this one, but um, doesn't mean we don't have to squeeze through some of the lime stuff. Uh, bits to get through. A short adventure, an adventure nonetheless, and some great photos. Now up we go. More stairs. Damn you stairs! Right, so our next stop is a natural tunnel viewing platform. Um, I'm hoping that we're going to get some good shots in there. It seems, from what I've seen, a good place for photography. So we'll see when we get there, I guess, but it's a little way that way. But first I need to take off my jumper because I'm starting to get really hot with all this walking. <laughs> right, job done. Let's get going. It's very dark. Cannot see a thing. The camera does a better job. I cannot see that well. Well, this is it. This is the, uh, this is the cave. hard to photograph, there's not a lot to actually take photos of, but it's very impressive to be there nonetheless. So that was the uh, natural platform underneath a very large rock. Neither my lens nor my camera is weatherproof and it just got dripped on a whole bunch in that cave so I might want to dry that off first and then we'll carry on down the path. Here's a top tip, always carry two microfiber towels, one for cleaning lenses and one cleaning up water if you do get splashed on and make sure they're different colors that way you know which one's which anyway no water on the camera I think we've survived well, that was the main attraction was our underground uh, cabin uh, but now we're just going to keep going on the walk 
does loop around so I'm not worried about getting lost or anything but we're just going to keep walking and see what we can find. I found another cave. It's a teeny one this time. Was our walk. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really starving, so time to find somewhere for lunch. I think this will do. Well, that's my weekend trip to Waitomo pretty much over and done with, other than uh, driving home now. There was lots more to see and do here. Everything I did, by the way, was free, no, other than the campsite, which I obviously paid for. But all of the walks, all of the caves, we're just free walks, things off the side of the road that you can go and visit without spending any money. I want to keep going that way and explore more, but I I can't. <laughs> I'm going to run out of time and daylight, so I'm just going to make my way home now. But thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. It will mean the world to me. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you guys really, really soon for the next adventure. Bye for now.